This right here is an illegal outlet. There are two main problems with this outlet. Can you see what they are? Let's take a look. So we can see that this is wired correctly, but it is actually overcut, meaning the drywall is cut way too far and it's sunken, meaning the box is recessed in behind the drywall. That is absolutely illegal. Now, there are some channels that are saying to use spacers in behind here and just leave it as is, absolutely wrong. You can see here on the side of our receptacle, we have to have this all covered by code. Let's turn off our power and get started. So now I've turned off the power at the breaker, you can see there is a tremendous draft actually coming through this. I'm gonna show you how you can fix that too because we live in a cold climate and we want to make this energy efficient. So we're gonna back out our screws and I'm gonna show you the problem here. And so the first thing you're gonna do is remove your outlet. Oh my gosh, this is tight. Now that our power is off, we're gonna pull out the outlet and take it apart here. And they just did the back stabs on this. It's always nice if you can use your terminals and wrap them manually around your screws. It's actually a much better installation than this. I'm just gonna twist to remove them. Backstabbing, absolutely the laziest way to wire. We don't wanna do this anymore. So by code, this is what you need. This is a box extender or an electrical box extender, and it is good for an inch and a half. And you're gonna notice that it is closed on all four sides here. That is really what we are trying to do. Now all of those spaces and all of those gaps have been covered, and that is legally what you have to do. I'm gonna be patching some drywall as well. That's just gonna dry in behind the box extender and it's just gonna prevent drafts because we live in a cold climate over here and we don't wanna have drafts coming through our box. And you can actually feel there's a lot of cold air coming in behind, so this is just a nice way to seal it up. The electrical receptacle here has a nice snug fit. I've filled in the gaps with some caulking here. It's gonna prevent any drafts. I'm just gonna be using here some extra long screws for the installation of our box extender and receptacle. With our voltage tester, you can now see that we have the correct wiring. We got rid of the back stabs. We don't do that. And I'm also using a gasket in behind the receptacle. This is UL listed for Canada and the United States. This is cold here, very drafty. So I wanna put this on and you can see now that we don't have any gaps and that's what you want to see around your electrical box. And that is so much better, look at that. To learn more tips about electrical, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video right here. I'm Deiru, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you found value in this video.